I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about some of the things that I kind of missed. Super important things, getting your house ready to list. I know I talked about the backyard, I talked about the interior, but I didn't talk about the front yard. Kind of little things, curb appeal things that make your home ready um, and really catch a buyer's eye when they're driving by your home for the first time. Maybe they're gonna check it out before they actually go get an appointment to look at it. Or maybe they're just in your neighborhood um, nearby and they're thinking about sending a friend your way. You wanna make sure that your house is presentable, right? So here are a few tips I have for you to get your house ready to be listed and in the front yard to have that curb appeal. Basically, you want it to be the red carpet into the main performance or the stage, right? So some things that you can do really easy, and believe me, I'm guilty of this a little bit. Um, clean the pathway underfoot and pressure clean it if you can, because when you use a pressure cleaner, it really takes up some of the years of gunk that you don't even realize are there because you've been living there for so long. You didn't realize that maybe your stone used to be a light brown and now it's black because, well, it's just been over time. You didn't realize how dark it had gotten. Um, do that if it's appropriate. Of course, there's certain um, all materials you may have in your front yard that won't be conducive to a, a pressure wash, so be aware of those things too. Probably most stone pathways can handle that, but you know, you gotta be careful too, because if it's an older home, you may end up taking some of the integrity of that rock that holds some kind of beautiful pattern together or something up, so be aware of that. I know some people can definitely help you with that. I think there are some carpet cleaners that do pressure washing, and I always see pressure washing in that little like magazine that comes, it's not a magazine, but it's like little packet that comes to your mail and has like some suggestions um, that might be in there for pressure wash. Also, you want to make sure that you manu manicure the surrounding landscape. Make sure that if the, if the plants have an awkward shape, try and shape them into a ball or something perfectly square. People really like seeing structure to a yard. If there's some old weeds and stuff in there, take them out. Get rid of those things that don't really need to be in that beautiful landscape that you paid so much for and enjoy. Also, you wanna, um, oh, and if you don't have a big, you know, landscape in your front yard, if you don't have a major landscape, little things can go a long way using different materials like rock, which can be pretty inexpensive. You can get like a ton of rock delivered to you from KRC or RCP. Those are both really great companies nearby and they're very reasonable. You can find something very modern or very, um, you know, custom to your liking or your style of home. Or you can even do something like DG or fill in with maybe some of the bark. Those look really attractive and they look orderly and they're cheaper and of course you don't have to water them, which is nice. Also clean your front door of dirt and debris and insect webs. That is like a big one for me. I didn't realize it until I had a property that had been, the, the homeowner had been not in it as, as often as she, you know, was, she wasn't in it very often. Does that make sense? Yes. She would come in and out every six months back and forth between here and another state. And um, I just, I walked up to the front door and I was like, oh my gosh, we're gonna have an open house. And I need to, I basically went down to wipe the whole thing down because it was just the front door had so much just minor silt or some kind of dirt around it. I cleaned all those areas and it made a huge difference right away. Um, it looked fresher. It was a red paint too. So it really stood out with the dirt. So make sure you clean up those little areas. Also, um, you know, maybe add a splash of color with a potted floral set near the front door. Like maybe get yourself a bright blue um, tall pot. Add even if you don't have, maybe you even have some plants on your indoor area that can be under an on, you know, under the overhang of your doorway. Do something right there that's bright green. Make sure you try and look for something that's gonna stay for a while and not need a lot of attention. Um, some indoor plants can be outdoor. It just depends on which ones, but that's something you wanna ask your home improvement about. And other than that, I mean, those are some pretty quick, easy tips you can do to make your front look completely fresh. And that's what you want. Make it the red carpet area for those buyers that they're just gonna love the inside when they step inside. Have a great week and I will talk with you all soon. Bye.